You are the journalist, aren't you? Amazon? 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 Too late for me? <coughs> Too late. It's all over for me. I am no longer in good health, my friend. It's a pity, but what can I do? <coughs> in any case, Amazon, all that. No one ever believed me, so... <coughs> After all those years, it's incredible. The egg. The egg. The egg. It's still alive. Alive. Yes. I had planned to take it back over there to Amazon. My expedition was ready, had it all planned out down to the smallest detail. But now, it's all over. I have no strength left. <coughs> I have no strength left. You must go for me. You must go. Take the egg back. Take the egg of the white birds back to Amazon. I beg you, please. <coughs> You are the journalist, aren't you? I gave him your letter the other day. You probably read it. He received another letter this morning. I put it in his mailbox. It was a letter from the museum. Ah, uh, letters from the museum? They always mean trouble. Maybe you could take it to him. He has trouble moving around, you know. He's an old man. Well, you see what I mean. If you want my advice, you should see a doctor. Well, that's what I think.
again. Get lost. I'm fishing. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. It happened a long time ago. 1932-33, maybe. There were three of them. They had a machine just like yours, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, they never managed to restart it. <laughs> they eventually left on a freighter that was passing through. Their machine remained in the lagoon for some time. And then, with time, it sank. They also left a chest behind somewhere. Look! Look, here's the key. No, the fish aren't biting! How do you expect them to bite, for Christ's sake? First of all, sperm whales don't usually come into this lagoon. <laughs> and then all the rackets you've kicked up. You certainly frighten the fish off. Hey, hey, there's a whale trap down below. He must have been caught in the old nets near the wreck. So as long as it's there, the fish will not bite, that's for sure. And I'll be in a bad mood. And when I'm in a bad mood, I don't feel like talking. Alenbois passed away, and you are taking the egg of the white birds back. You know that the three of us wanted the happiness of this country, and we have each contributed in our own way to its misfortune. We were a bunch of stupid and narrow-minded idealists. That's the plain truth. We realized this too late. Yes, too late. May God have mercy upon us. Oh, all that is so far away. She came from a mysterious village, lost in the jungle. Ranambois loved her a lot, you know. And then he betrayed her. He went back to Europe, and she... She pined away and died. Look... In the fort, you will find some fuel for your engine. You still have a long way to go, a very long way. I will pray to God for him to help you with your undertaking. Koryuko. 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 me of letting you in the fort. I think it's time for me to give account for my mistakes before God. I bear no grudge against their soldiers, you know. I forgive them. It's the least a priest can do before dying. Don't delude yourself. It's not by taking that egg back to where it came from that you are miraculously going to save this country. But it may do some good anyway. I hope so. People 
need something to believe in, to hope in, you know. Ugh. I, I didn't want to. Charles, believe me. I didn't want to kill the Padre. He said that you would make the Pajaritos Broncos come back with your, with, with your machine. The white birds, you said. All that is just Indian stories. <laughs> stories by those damn dirty past Indians. I am not an Indian anymore. I am, I am a citizen of the Amazon. <laughs> the Padre, the Padre got me all worked up. That is all, and then da, 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 da. <laughs> the shot went off like that. I am only a peasant. <gasps> the soldier made me do it. The soldier, the soldier. I am not an ugly assassin. I am only a poor peasant. That is all. <laughs>
Manca loco chico. Ovo. Volao. Ovo. Volao. Volao. Volao.
Women who are so worn out and tired they no longer even care to fake. Yet they tremble with fear in your arms. Because power is always fear. The fear of the one that possesses it, who risks losing it, and who then fears the one who is the victim of it, like a dog being beaten, and then growing old. <laughs> you have come instead of Valenbois, haven't you? Oh, the poor fool. The white bird and all that. <laughs> The enemy of power, my friend, is not liberty, not democracy, and all that miserable nonsense. The enemy of power is the dream. The dream! But you'll never understand that. I mean a real dream, not those common, mind-dulling fairy tales that anesthetize people while you keep them under your heel. I have always been wary of those white birds. All that mythology. I wanted Amazon to be a great modern nation, a country that believes in progress, that believes in science and technology. But these confounded Amazonians revel in that sappy romantic legend, that legend of white birds. I wanted to make the people, I wanted them to be happy, despite their wishes. I won't let you go any further. fumes of the volcanoes. Their giant wings continue growing throughout their lives. And some people even claim that long after their death, their lifeless bodies glide on tirelessly. These are but stories, people say. Stories that feed the dreams of the children who live in the Amazon. 